One of the largest food giveaways in the metro Atlanta area just wrapped up. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter has been at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Stonecrest since early this morning, speaking to families and volunteers. And Brittany, what are some of those stories that you're hearing? From volunteers to people getting food out here, everyone has just been so kind to share their personal stories of why they showed up today. It's been a lot of food insecurities from single mothers to people with disabilities that are just unable to work. But what's evident is that help is needed. Thank you for coming. Have a good day. Bye, Miss Mary. I actually got here at 4 30. And um, I'm just blessed. And I bought my brother. He's disabled. So we all can go. I retired and I had a heart attack, and then I had a stroke. So it's been a rough year. Because I got four little ones in the back seat. Four little kids in the back seat, that's why. Family sharing different reasons for coming out this morning, but all grateful for the help just days before the Thanksgiving holiday. I'm grateful, I'm grateful. This man, a father and husband, was the first person in line telling us that he got there around midnight because he had to borrow a car to come and needed to get it back to his brother before he left for work. Um, I had open heart surgery back in August, and so um, I'm currently out of work, and my short-term disability just ended, so I'm actually not getting any funds right now. So I'm having to come out here and you know try to get a turkey for my family. Organizers, including New Birth Missionary Baptist Church and Wither Wright Law Group, say the need in the community is astronomical due to inflation and financial insecurities. Uh, we started uh, just one month before the pandemic with maybe 100 people a week. Uh, to see that escalate to thousands is absolutely overwhelming, and we're just grateful to be able to serve. Volunteers packing vehicles with turkeys saying that the chance to serve others is what they're thankful for. Well, it's just uh, awesome experience to be able and, and to see the joy on their faces, knowing you're helping and serving families. It's just great. Organizers tell me they were able to feed over 5,000 people through today's effort. Reporting in Lithonia, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.